Welcome to Sisu. In this video, we'll discuss the Sisu fundamentals necessary to get you one step closer towards operationalizing your data. First, we'll walk through a few core concepts. Then I'll dive into a hands-on walkthrough demonstrating how to use Sisu to create metrics and analyses on an e-commerce data set. Before we begin, let's take a look at a typical data-driven decision-making process used by most companies. Most business analytics teams follow this repetitive manual end-to-end -end process. Sisu fits into the process, enabling tracking of business metrics and rapidly iterating through multiple analyses. Facts are surfaced through proprietary machine learning algorithms, and these can be used to drive business decisions. Let's start with the Sisu framework. The Sisu framework is made up of three core components, project, metric, and analyses. A project is a logical bucket that groups your metrics any way you choose. A project can have many metrics, which in turn can have many analyses linked to any particular metric. Let's start with some basic terminology. At Sisu, we define a metric as an aggregated calculation performed on one or two columns of data. For example, in the data set above, we can see that the order value column can yield two metrics over here, average order value or using average and total revenue, or using sum. Sisu can work with seven different types of metrics. The simplest types of metrics are basic calculations on a single numerical column, including average, sum, and count. With two numerical columns, you can do weighted average or a numerical rate metric. If instead you have a categorical column, you can also create a categorical rate or a row count metric. Please visit our knowledge base for more information on different types of metrics. Sisu supports three different types of analyses, general performance, time comparison, and group comparison. Overall analysis or general performance analysis is great for identifying top drivers for your metric. Comparison analyses include time comparison and group comparisons and differ under the hood in terms of the analytics engine used. Time comparison explores how metrics change between two periods, while group compare walks through how metrics differ for two populations in the form of A-B testing. Let's take a look at these analyses in practice to better understand Sisu's output for the three types of analyses. Looking at general performance first, the average order value is $59. Sisu unearths facts that show differing trends for subgroups within the data space. Product category equals chocolate boxes has a higher average order value of $68, whereas the combination fact, product flavor equals double chocolate and time of day equals evening, has a lower average order value of $34. In contrast, time and group comparisons are a compare analysis. Instead of looking at how a metric behaves overall, Sisu looks at change or the difference of metrics across time periods or groups. For example, Within time comparison, we can see that average order value increases from June to July 2020, from $56 to $59. However, within the demographic group of 18 to 25, we see that average order value has actually decreased from $55 to $51, which corresponds to a decrease of 7.2%. Note that this is significantly lower than the overall trend of positive 5.4%. With group comparison, instead of comparing June to July, you can also compare two groups such as West Coast and East Coast orders. Now that we've established some core terms, let's take a look at Sisu in action, starting with the home page. This is a screen that will greet you upon logging in. You can see a list of your projects along with a new project button. Clicking on the profile icon on the top right opens up a navigation bar and if you select Administration, you'll find your setting for Membership, Roles, and Permissions. Next, let's look at the Data tab. Clicking here navigates to a list of public and restricted data sources, which you can connect Sisu to. Here you can also add new data sources easily by clicking New Data Source. Sisu can connect you to your common data source types like BigQuery, Redshift, Snowflake, and more. Or if you'd like, you can upload a CSV file directly. Clicking on Manage Queries takes you to a query window where you can create and edit SQL queries upon which Sisu analyses can be run. On the top left, you can see a list of previously saved queries. 
and on the bottom left, a list of tables within your data warehouse. We're going to run the e-commerce order query. This shows a preview of the e-commerce dataset, which the query extracts. Each record in this table is an order transaction in terms of level of granularity. The metric column here is order value, which can be averaged or summed to create either an average order value metric or a total revenue metric. With order date as the time column here, we're looking at a couple of slicing dimensions of interest, like the order item count, order channel, coupon code, store city, store ID, time of day, list SKU, and category. Or demographic information like loyalty program, age, and gender. Navigating back to the projects now, we can go ahead and create a new project named Wonka Bar Orders. On this page, the metrics panel is on the left, and the analysis tabs will appear on the right. Clicking on the plus sign allows you to add in a metric. For the purpose of this video, we are going to create a new average order value metric. Within the metrics creation model, we have multiple fields to fill out and can go ahead and select our data source as Willy Wonka Snowflake. Choose the e-commerce order saved query. Remember that a metric is defined as an aggregated calculation of one or two columns within your data set. This means that we first have to select a calculation type. In our case, we'll select average. From there, we can select order value as our metric column. Now we'll choose order date as our time comparison column and set the metric goal as increase. Finally, clicking on create concludes the creation of our metric here. Now that the metric has been created, we will walk through how to create a general performance analysis and a time comparison analysis. First, let's create a general performance analysis. A set of options at the top allows you to configure and iterate on your own analyses for specific questions. We'll look at the compare button in further detail when we create a time comparison analysis. The custom filter button allows for data manipulation without going back to the rewrite query. This allows you to drill down into a cohort that you would like to analyze. For example, you could choose order channel and specifically look at digital mobile only. For this analysis, however, we won't use a filter. Clicking on manage columns shows a list of all columns available for analysis. I'm going to deselect a few columns that are not particularly relevant for my analysis. We have the ability to enable keyword-based text analytics for columns which have a string data type. Feel free to refer to our knowledge base for more detail on this feature. Finally, the Advanced Setting button gives you several options for statistical models and confidence levels for your analysis. We'll keep our setting by default here, but please visit our knowledge base for more detail. Clicking on Run allows Sisu to automate the slice and dice on this metric. As you can see, Sisu has analyzed a total of 5.1 million combinations to surface the 20 most insightful facts. We can see the average order value is 29.7, looking across 300,000 rows. For now, let's ungroup the rows to see all outputs and look at one particular fact here. Looking at this fact, order store city equals New York and list SKU flavor contains chocolate brownie, we can see a subgroup size of 6.4%. This means that 6.4% of all orders within the database are from New York and contain the flavor chocolate brownie. The subgroup average here is 61.7, as opposed to an average of 29.7. An impact of 2.2 shows that this group provided a lift to 2.2 to the overall average order value. Clicking into this fact opens a page that shows the impact numbers for other values. Like before, we can see the subgroup size is 6.4%. The average order value for this subgroup is 61.7, and the impact on the overall average order value is 2.2. It's also possible to view performance over time and preview and download the relevant data rows for this fact. Coming back to the main page, if I want to look at any fact in more detail, 
I can click the drill down button at any time to create a new analysis. Looking at order count, I click drill down and select create new analysis. Sisu will instantly run this new analysis and create an automatic filter that looks at order item count equals one only, allowing you to uncover other key drivers in the data. Here, you can see another general performance analysis looking at orders with only one item, with the AOV of 17.2 that we saw earlier. Now, let's take a look at creating a time comparison analysis. This is a change analysis. To start, I'll duplicate my previous analysis and rename it. Then, I click on the Compare button and choose to compare time periods. Choosing the last 14 days, I'm comparing this period with the previous period. Reopening the Manage Columns button, we can see that because we duplicated original analysis, our previous column selections was carried forward. Clicking on Run allows Sisu to run this particular analysis. In this analysis, we see that Sisu analyzed 5.1 million combinations to surface nine facts. We can see high-level metrics for both the time periods. In the first period, AOV was 29.2, and in the second, it was 28.7. This shows a drop of 1.9% over time. After ungrouping rows to see all outputs, I'm going to dive into a similar fact here in more detail. This is a second fact where order store city equals New York and list skew flavor contains chocolate brownie. Upon clicking into the fact, details on average, population size, and impact on change in average are made available. Like we saw in our general performance analysis, this model shows the numbers for this fact, as well as other values. And it's possible to preview and download the relevant data rows for this fact. In any comparison analysis, we also have the option of viewing a waterfall chart, which breaks down the difference between the previous period and current period in terms of subgroups having a positive or negative influence. Finally, if you need assistance in using Sisu, you can click on the Help button at the bottom right of the screen to navigate to articles within our knowledge base. If you need more help, contact our team at support at sisudata.com.